hello and thank you for honoring us with your time today on behalf of the Center for Tribes we want to welcome you to our learning series so I want to thank all of you for being here to share your knowledge and experiences thank you so much so what are the most common questions that are asked well, around data, a lot of folks really want to know about how they can manage their data more efficiently and more easily at the program. Mm -hmm. Or how can we collect data more meaningful to our communities and avoid the catch-up of report deadlines? Uh, the answers to these questions seem to be uh, as individual as each tr individual tribe. For many programs, it looks like Excel has been very useful in enhancing their data management system. Tribal child welfare programs tend to collect data and manage data in one of three ways, either with paper records and files, or spreadsheets, or with data management systems. All right, so then if a program is storing uh, their records with just uh, paper or um, or spreadsheets. What are some of the issues that come up? Mm. Well, data could be entered inconsistently sometimes. Mm -hmm. Staff in various program components from CPS to foster care through permanency tend to collect data in their own individual ways so that they don't relate to each other. Mm -hmm. Right. And then also gathering data for reporting is very time consuming. To be competitive in writing grants and accessing resources, having accurate and comprehensive data is critical. All right. Well, it sounds like using an enhanced Excel sheet can really help people with their programs and these different issues. Yeah, I think it really can. I mean, you know, data is only as good as what you put into it, but Excel can really be a really helpful tool in managing it. And the best thing is that most people already have it on their computers. Mm -hmm. you know, it's just part of the regular Microsoft Office suite of products. So, you know, check your computer, it's probably there now. Right, and when we talk about enhancing that spreadsheet, um, you get to add cool features like drop-down lists, um, formulas that can help you count your data um, a lot easier. It makes the process of reporting a lot faster and easier as well. Um, it also makes your data consistent and accurate. So if you're currently using paper records, an Excel spreadsheet can help you make your data more reliable, accurate, and comprehensive. Some of you may recognize this BIA reporting form. If you use an Excel spreadsheet, you can save hours and days of time getting accurate information into this form. So just imagine that you have all of your data in one Excel file that can do all the reporting for this. Um, it, just like Patty said, it's going to make it a lot easier and faster and more reliable. And what would take days or hours and days um, is literally reduced to minutes. Well, that sounds pretty cool to me. Hopefully it sounds cool to everybody who's watching with us too. Uh, so the rest of this learning series, all the other videos, uh, are going to really focus on building an intake spreadsheet. So something you would use to log your CPS reports, things like that. Uh, that's just to make it a little less overwhelming because there are just an infinite number of things you could do with Excel in your program. And then we're also going to use formulas and focus on these BIA reporting numbers that Patty was just showing us. My guess is that along the way, Excel spreadsheets will help folks find um, a more accurate way to reflect things like traditional values, uh, family relationships, and community. If this sounds like something that might help your program, I want to invite you to walk with us through this series. Together we'll cover everything you need to know about Excel 
and uh, many of the program data that will help it to be more efficient. Okay, so this is really going to be an interactive learning journey. So your first step will be to open Excel on your computer, and then you can either look at a blank workbook, or you can download the partially set up template file that we've provided. And a really logical place to start would be to do a beginner and inter intermediate Excel skills. Um, it can be a uh, review for you, or it can be brand new. But we want you to be comfortable using those skills. Then we'll walk you through uh, setting up your case files and um, drop-down lists to enhance your information and make more accurate, meaningful collection of data. And then we're also going to look at some Excel formulas that are going to make reporting much faster and easier. And finally, we'll uh, look at what else you can do once your data is organized. For example, you could visualize your data to show it to other people with uh, Excel charts. You can share data to support and reflect traditional values, family relationships, and community. Yes, and there's also steps you can take to, to use that data to manage and improve your program. And if you ever have any questions or you're feeling stuck on something, you can email us anytime. Yes, we're happy to help. Thank you for joining us and good luck on your learning journey.